Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, board certified family practice, and today we're going to talk about generic STD testing. It's not uncommon for someone to come to the office after a Saturday night unprotected exposure requesting generic testing for STDs or someone that wants to check to make sure that they are clean or someone that comes in at the request of their new partner uh, looking to be tested for STDs and sometimes I actually have patients come in with a list of things that they want to be tested for. So there's various STDs we can test for. Um, some are straightforward, some not quite so straightforward. Uh, first off, we would do is test for chlamydia and gonorrhea. This is easy, it's straightforward, it's just a urine sample in a cup, and it's DNA technology. Uh, you can have chlamydia and not have symptoms, so we did have a separate video that talked about chlamydia. Uh, gonorrhea, if you have gonorrhea, you generally know that you have it. This is what's known as the drip. Um, you get it the day after you have relations with someone and you know who you got it from and you know when you got it. So that's a little bit obvious, but they come as a two-for-one test. So gonorrhea and chlamydia, always done in generic STD testing. Uh, next is HIV. It's also very straightforward. A blood test, easy enough. Um, not usually because you think you caught HIV with your last exposure, but just as a periodic baseline, anybody that is sexually active should have periodic HIV testing. Uh, next is syphilis. Uh, this is also a fairly easy blood test. Uh, not real common, but it is on the rise. Uh, syphilis, you get the initial infection and symptoms with fever and rash sometimes, and then it goes away and may come back later as secondary or tertiary syphilis or neurosyphilis. And this is what Al Capone had uh, was syphilis that went to his brain. Um, so we would want to know if you had syphilis. Very easy to treat with penicillin shots. Um, next, uh, not quite as straightforward, would be um, testing for uh, herpes virus, and we have a separate video on this as well, and I don't generally recommend blood testing for herpes virus because it's an antibody test. It doesn't tell you about new exposure. It tells you about distant exposure and cannot differentiate between a cold sore and herpes virus. If you came in with specific symptoms of blisters, we surely could take a swab of the blister and tell you whether you had herpes or not. Uh, next would be uh, hepatitis B and C. Hepatitis A is a foodborne diarrhea illness, so that's not a STD. Uh, hepatitis B, most younger people have had hepatitis. We've been doing hepatitis um, vaccination B, vaccination for at least 20 years, so most younger people are uh, vaccinated against hepatitis B, usually not an issue. Uh, hepatitis C, we usually think in older people in their 40s and 50s uh, that have maybe been carrying the virus around for 20 years and are beginning to develop some symptoms of hepatitis C. Um, HPV virus, cannot test for that in a man. I just had someone came in and requested HPV testing from his girlfriend. Um, I don't have a HPV test for men. Um, women, we can do it as part of a pap smear. Uh, wart virus, that's part of the HPV family. Um, if you had spots that look like warts, we usually look at these uh, visually and say that you have uh, genital warts. If we're not sure, we could take a little pinch of one of them and look under the microscope and confirm it. Uh, but that wouldn't be a generic test. That would be a symptom-driven uh, test. So everybody that comes in gets a chlamydia and gonorrhea test in the urine. Uh, everybody should get an HIV test when they're sexually active. Uh, the RPR or syphilis test, uh, easy to do, not so common, but on the rise and should get this periodically if you are active. Uh, herpes would not test you for it unless you've had a specific known exposure and you have symptoms. Uh, and HPV testing we do in women or can do in women, but don't do in men. So um, have your list when you come in. We can go through them one at a time. Uh, some things reasonable, some things uh, impossible, uh, some things ambiguous. Dr. Castello, thanks.